Good morning everyone, tis I, Alex Durham, back once more for another show. This time, as you may have noticed, I'm winging this bad boy solo. Now, aside from that, I say we get the show going with the pledges, as always. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We at Pace pledge to everyone with fairness, kindness, and respect. Now, ladies and gents, for the first segment we've got today, it's Cassidy Murray's Today Is. Welcome back, Pace Eagles, to another episode of Today Is. Thanks for watching! Bye! Alrighty then, now I present forth to you all my latest episode of Trooper Training, this time featuring better transitions. Yay! Hey ya cadets, it's good to see you guys again. Today, we're going to be talking about a unit I know you guys are going to love. So, without the dilly dally and chatter, let's get to it. That's right, cadets. Today, we're talking about the ARC Trooper. Sorry I didn't put these guys up earlier, but I just felt like I'd save the best for last. Now, without further ado, let's talk about these guys. The ARC in ARC Trooper stands for Advanced Recon Commando. These guys, hands down, have got to be some of the most elite fighters the Republic has to offer. Now, just about any clone trooper with a hope and a dream will want to be one of these guys later on in their careers, but what exactly makes them so special? Well, to begin with, our troopers are modified just like the commandos are in their genes, except their modifications focus more on a natural talent for leadership, improved focus, and tactical prowess, as well as some athletic enhancements. Now, in addition to this, our troopers are also given some of the best training and weapons the Republic has to offer. Now, you can typically see our troopers wearing special pauldrons and commas. What makes these so special? Well, the pauldrons are flexible, lightweight, and comfortable, and can block most oncoming blaster fire. Their commas are able to block shrapnel. And, they can also prevent burns from a faulty jetpack. Now, while some ARC Troopers do operate in Special Forces groups, most ARC Troopers opt for leadership positions in clone battalions. For example, well, there's Commander Cody, who's the head honcho of the 212th, serving under General Kenobi. Another example, there's Captain Rex of the 501st, he serves under General Skywalker. And for a final one, heading the 327th, there's Commander Bly, who serves under General Ayla Sakura. Now, remember what I said earlier about every clone trooper basically wanting to become an ARC? Well, luckily, there's a system in place where if an ARC trooper or a higher officer sees a clone trooper like you or me performing exceptionally in combat via leadership or tactical ability, they can make a recommendation for you to be placed in the position of an ARC Trooper. Pretty neat, huh? Now, two examples of clones that got promoted to this position would be the 501st's Fives and Echo, following the Battle of Kamino. 
Luckily for us though, this facility managed to stay hidden from most of the clankers' radars. And the ones that did wise up and try to come near... Ooh, let's just say our water and air forces had a fun time scrapping droids. Now, lastly, I want to cover the weaponry the ARCs use. Most of the time, they'll use standard issue DC-15s, like Commander Cody, or they'll just dual-wield DC-17s, like Commander Rex. But don't get me wrong, it's not been unseen for them to roll out with some pretty heavy weapons. So, cadets, that just about does it for our troopers. Now remember, if you work hard, work well with your squad, and if you ain't a half bad shot, I'm sure there's nothing stopping you from becoming an art trooper. Now, if you guys would excuse me, I heard a certain clicks challenged me to an arm wrestling match down in the cafeteria. See you, cadets. Now, before we get to the quotes and jazz, we bring you to the Isle of Lost Hoodies, more commonly known as Lost and Found. Alright everyone, as mentioned earlier, and as you can probably guess, it's the White Doves and Quote of the Day. You Can't Do, Stop You From Doing What You Can Do, by John Wooden. Now, that just about wraps up this episode. I and the rest of the PNN team hope you guys enjoyed. And tomorrow we'll be back with another episode. Au revoir!